viewers and subscribers my pleasure to be on the show today love parenting and mental health with your counseling psychologist so is my name and uh, i'm so excited because we are bringing you another values and what we are bringing on board today is understanding your marital partner how can this be achieved that is what we'll be discussing together on the show before i move into the details of what we have i would like you to please do these four things for me number one subscribe to this youtube channel number two hit the notification bell and like this video share the video also leave your comments i will be glad if you do this it will mean a lot to me okay so let's take a short break and i will be right back yes welcome back from that short break uh like i said what we are doing today is understanding your marital partner now let me ask this question for some of us who are already married or engaged who is your marital partner who is she beyond his name or her name who is she beyond the gender the family of orientation beyond the association who is this person you know beyond the, the genotype and every other things you might have known who is this person all those information you've known is equally very very important but there are also important things that your courtship should achieve you know courtship is usually a period to gather information all of the informations you've gathered is very very important names gender what it does you know is friends or are friends all of those are very very important the family of orientation all of those are very very important also very important that you know this person beyond all of these factors okay and in going into that today i will be primarily talking about understanding your partner from the point of his temperament or our temperament a number of us know what the temperament of our partner is some of us could even say the blend but do we actually relate to them from that point of view or how do we relate to them from that point of view and that is what we'll be doing on the show today in name the foundation there are four temperaments identified by team naive they are sanguine choleric melancholy and phlegmatic okay these are the four and in starting we, we are going to pick the very first one which is the sanguine so you are going to we are going to be looking at how to understand your sanguine spouse in relations to financial management mental health relationship with the opposite sex are many more are you searching for professional counseling services appealing and available to individuals schools families communities corporate and religious organizations at an affordable rate look no further sure hope counseling clinic is a registered counseling firm and a recognized member of the counseling association of nigeria sure hope counseling clinic offers services in the following categories toddler and preschool development counseling pre-teens and teens counseling primary to counseling, marital counseling, parenting, rehabilitation and remedial counseling, corporate counseling. Other services include book sales, library services and training. We also offer home services for children and the aging. Likewise, we treat addiction and offer therapy for mental well-being. Show Up Counseling Clinic is located at 99 Elite Bus Stop, adjacent Uluyolu Shasha O, Puliyeleyele Rodebado. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Show Up Counseling Clinic for inquiry. Visit our website www.shcounselingclinic.org.ng or call 0803-537-6009 or 0806-847-5755 Show Up Counseling Clinic, living people better than we met them. All right, so let me start by telling us the background information about who is and Jean is. He's a very fun person to be with. He's very, very uh, expressive. In fact, he or she is more of external than internal. That is, he likes to talk about what he feels. You know, he is a very external person. He or she does not write feelings or emotions. Rather, they talk about feelings and emotions. They are very, very expressive next let me talk about how sanguine will really add to the opposite sex okay uh the truth is 
Sanjay is a very charming, loving to be with and all. So this will actually make more opposite sex to get attracted to them. You know, a number of people want to listen to them talking. They have storytelling ability. Fun is next skin, you know, to a Sanjay. So, of course, if he's a guy, then so many ladies will like to be around him that if she's a lady of course she's going to get attention of many men okay so for somebody who is dating a sandrine you have to come to the understanding that this person will actually uh you know have many opposite friends who are going to get attracted to him or her so how do you relate to this one of the challenge of the sandrine is the fact that you know they are short tempered their emotions are also very short. They, they are people that don't actually uh, find attachment very easy in the sense that, you know, commitment is not one of the things that they find very easy. So when they are with you right, right now, they enjoy the moment with you. They live in the moment. But the moment they leave you, they don't miss you. You know, that's gone. You know, that moment with you is gone. So they move on to another that is next. And whoever they are with, at that particular moment they enjoy their company with that person so they how do you like i said the other time how do you relate to this you have to ensure that your sandrine spouse find you very very attractive you have to ensure that your sandrine spouse have conviction you know in actually going into marital relationship with you this helps you to sustain his or her attention because they usually do have short attention span so they might not be able to sustain an attention for a very long time so you have to understand or know exactly why he or she is attracted to you and keep improving on that point of attraction most especially if you also are convinced about the relationship all right so that's that on how to relate to your son jane's spouse when it comes to the opposite sex now moving to the next how do you relate to your son jane's spouse on the basis of his or her emotion now you should know this that sanjay's spouses are usually emotionally expressive and that's why they fall to the group of what extroverts they don't internalize emotion you know they are able to communicate their emotion just as it is they are able to say it just as they mean it or just as it is in their hearts they don't have problems with communicating their emotions that is what they feel part time therefore they are short tempered they don't hold grudges they are very apologetic though they might do the same thing again you know but they will accept what they will tell you they are sorry very apologetic people okay and of course they are quick to say sorry like i said so how do you relate to this you have to come to the point where you know that when he expresses himself or herself, he or she is not retaining that negative emotion, then he or she will now not find it convenient if you are still holding on to that to your emotion. So they usually like it when their spouse are also emotionally expressive like themselves. So they want you to also be quick to forgive be quick to let go so how do you do this especially when you are an introvert one of the things you do is also learn to communicate your emotion learn from them <laughs> how to communicate your emotions so from there when you also are able to let out your emotions then you are able to let go of that negative feelings then you guys can agree together and work again and again okay so next is Sanjin and his is our finance. How do you understand this? You should know that your Sanjin spouse is likely to spend spontaneously, you know, because they are they live in the moment. So a Sanjin person might actually spend all before remembering that he needs to pay the school fees of the children, you know, in, in the in about few days to come. So they are not very calculative people, you know, they live in the moment. You as the spouse of this kind of a person you have to be patient with him or her and also ensure that you let him understand 
your needs and the needs of his family you have to come to the point where you always communicate your needs to him and help him to put them in focus you know how do you do that you actually make it not that you are nagging this time around but you try as much as possible to engage him or her a meaningful uh, discussion where you explain you know some of the things that you need to spend money on and this help him to be more disciplined when it comes to finance of course raising kids are very wonderful for sanjin because they are loving people uh they are warm they are very exciting they have great sense of women and of course they are storytellers <laughs> so children like to be around them and children do enjoy themselves around them because of course Sanjin will always buy gifts for children they can spoil children with gifts they live in the moment so if a kid just said oh daddy I need chewing gum daddy I need this I need that they are buying immediately they are spontaneous spenders okay so kids are going to have a great time being around them but one thing is this a Sanjin need to be careful because he or she might raise a child who is very confident exciting expressive you know sociable but not disciplined because sandrine is not disciplined himself so his or her spouse needs to come to the point where you understand that oh you have a loving father or a loving mother in your spouse but when it comes to discipline you have to take up that responsibility because for sanjuin if they don't discipline a child when a child is wrong that might never happen the reason is that they live in the moment and of course very spontaneous and another thing is one of their greatest challenges procrastination so once they procrastinate it might mean never for them so you as a spouse of the sanguine you have to know that this person is not that he or she is deliberate about hurting you that is who he or she is so you have to take the discipline of the children you know um, more serious because he might that might not actually come from your sanguine spouse okay so next video i'll be talking about a choleric spouse and how to relate to him or her based on his or her emotions, finance, parenting, mental health, and all that things. So see you in the next video. Don't forget I'm Tosin Togun. And of course, visit us at Sure Hope Counseling Clinic for any support that you may need psychologically, you know, family-wise, or in any other regards. We are there. All right.